So Hamlet is talking to this uh, waterfly, Osric, who's saying that uh, Laertes is the best thing ever under the sun next. Hamlet, sir, his defilement suffers no peroration in you. <laughs> Perdition. Perdition. Okay. Uh, defilement, uh, what does that mean? Like, I don't know. Uh, look at it. Look at the word. Um, Definement. Define, translate. Or definition. You know what? Yeah, exactly. There it is. Suffer because it's defined, right? Um, oh yeah. <laughs> suffer no perdition. Okay. Uh, the the root of perdition is perdition means a uh, complete destruction. So um, the, that that uh, uh, the the sentence basically means you did not make him worse than what he is. Okay. He did, did, in 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 other words, you 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 read this again. His defilement suffered no perdition in you. Means you didn't do anything bad about you know. You, okay. You did this? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, of course, that that statement is true, right? Because yeah. Because Osric, no, we're we're talking about Osric playing with words, right? Uh -huh. So Hamlet play, um, plays it back. Okay. Since Osric only say good things about uh, Laertes, obviously he didn't do anything bad about him, right? Yeah. Um, but uh, uh, perdition has another meaning, uh, which uh, is called uh, it's just uh, damnation. Uh, you understand damnation, right? Yeah. Like a damn by you know, God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so. Your definition of him, okay, his defilement, okay, will cause no damnation in you. You understand this? Uh huh. Which is which is another meaning of this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for instance, uh, the other thing is he uh, did not use the word cause, right? You, his defilement causes no perdition in you, right? He yeah. used the word suffer, right? Yeah. So suffer no damnation. This fits just well, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you when you when you make fun of people, this is a, this is the way to do it, uh, which is you put out a word that that, that means both both ways. The, the one way is to like a on the table straight way of answering somebody's question, right? And mm -hmm. the other way is totally just ridiculous, ridicule them. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Next. Though I know to divide him. Inventory. Inventory. What's inventory? Like, like the supplies you have. Yeah, exactly. You divide um, them inventory because I ha I know good parts of various things that of him, so I can categorize them, so to speak. Okay. Next. Would Josie, the R R T M. Oh, you didn't know that word. Arithmetic. Do you know Arithmetic. that word? Arithmetic. Arithmetic. What? I never I'm heard it. Memory. Arithmetic? You never heard of it? Yeah. No? I never oh. heard of it. When, when you do the multiply, multiplication table or whatever, when you do math in, in school, what do you call it? Math. That's it? That's it? That's it? They don't call it arithmetic? No. no. They just call it math. Or arithmetic. Oh. Okay. Yeah, right. There's That's a word. Oh, well, anyway. <laughs> Uh okay um what 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 uh what are we talking about I know about his inventory would would dazzle the arithmetic of memory okay will make a person's head spin basically with the, with the calculation or whatever um so Hamlet is going with Osric right to say the Laertes has you know many good qualities that um that he's merely categorizing them the second part is categorizing them will or will 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 da dazzle people? Will uh, make people's hair head spin? You get this? Yeah. So this is all both meanings rolling along. You see this? You read the first half of it. I know to divide him inventorily, right? That means mm -hmm. I know I separate good things about them, and then you then immediately say would would that see the arithmetic of memory, which means it's hard to do it. It's all mm -hmm. good, all so good. Get it? Yeah. yeah. Next. But, uh, and yet the y'all neither in respect of his quick sale. Okay. Uh, yet, but what's that? I, I, my, I have raw. 
Av Yaw. Av Y A W. Yeah, Y A W. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, Yaw probably uh, means probably mean more or less the same thing. Um, but it, it's saying that. But uh, Hamlet, I mean, Laertes is either raw in respect or his uh, quick improvement, <coughs> right? Yeah. So raw. Yeah. Uh, you, you get this? <coughs> so, so basically he's saying you only list his, his existing qualities. You did not list his ability of making quick improvements. Did you see that? Look at the text. I mean, did you see it? Yeah. But, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, because of, uh, the, the, when you're not seeing it, you should see it. You didn't see it, okay? You see it, I, I'll... I'll I was supposed you see you saw it. you saw the meaning how the meaning fits into those texts <coughs> okay mm -hmm. and because uh, I don't I don't really know your level on, on, on all the detailed things but next but, but in ver verity of extolment okay verity means um you you know the verity is variety no no, no verity c'est vrai. Uh, 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 um, say um, uh, verification. Yeah, like. So verity is. Like show your like. The truth, truthfulness, yeah. is verifiable. Verity means truth. Uh, the, the in, in other languages, the, the, the short the, that that short form of word probably mean more much more. Extolment means praise. Okay. In the truthfulness of praise, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, next. I take I take him to be a soul of great article. Okay, that's easy to understand, right? Yeah. Next. And his infusion. Infusion. Infusion of such dearth and rareness as... Dearth, dearth, dearth means, where, uh, uh, means rare, okay? So the, those two words means pretty much the same thing. And his infusion, okay, he injects such rare qualities, okay, to himself. Next, to make true diction, diction, diction of Cho him. Choice of words, okay. Diction is choice of words. Dictionary, like exactly. Dictionary, dictionary is yeah. like a yeah, yeah, uh, exactly. like the big book of all the words. Exactly. Uh, make true diction is you find the true words for him. Um, okay. Next. His semblab is his mirror, and who? Okay, semblable. Uh, that uh, he's only semblable to his mirror. Uh, semble means what? Assemble. Semble. No, no, no. Uh, semble. Uh, the the the. Uh, no. What What did you just say? Assemble. No, no. Put it together. No. Um, semblance. Similarity. I never knew that. Um, okay. Uh, semblable means uh, able to make it, you know, make make the image look uh, like him, rese re resemble him. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we, we do resembles, right? You do you understand resemble? Mm -hmm. Resemble? The same? No, okay. Uh, never mind. Um, sample means the like of his li uh, image. You understand this? Yeah. Only sampleable in his mirror. The only people like his image is he, him looking at his mirror. It means nobody like it. Only himself. Yeah, only himself. He's so great. Nobody can match that kind of greatness other than sampleable only to the mirror, his mirror image. You get this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. And who else would trace him? His umbrage, nothing more. Uh, trace him. Uh, you, you, you know, uh, uh, the, in the, uh, where is it? In Jefferson's home, right? You, you saw those, um, uh, those tracing, on, on, uh, of a, uh, um, the tracing uh, picture of a person, They're like a, a side views. They have nose, eyes, whatever, mouth. Like I do a, not a, a remember. Wall full of this stuff, different people. Anyway, but that, those, in those days, draw a painting is very expensive. So you you have a peop, have a person cut out your uh, profile, your face profile, which is your like your image. Okay. Then you 
frame and then put it on the wall. Um, Semblable, uh, well, who else would trace him? He's umbrage. Uh, umbrage means uh, sort of a kind of a shadow. Okay. Uh, the, the word also means offense, okay, or annoying. N annoyance. Um, it means that nobody and nothing else will, cop will make a copy of him, okay, or his shadow, okay. Uh, nobody or thing, okay, uh, could. Got it? Nothing more, okay. Since so, since it's so great, next. Osric, your lord lordship speaks mo most infably of him. Okay, what is this word? What is it? What is the root of this word? What's this word? What is this? No, oh, the the, the between most and of. Fall. Yes, yes. Most infallible no. means you cannot fall. Okay. Cannot fail. Got it? Okay. Yeah. You speak so unfailingly of him. Next. Hamlet. I mean, this is just this is just a, a platitude. This is just, you know, say he's saying good words. You think uh, he understood what Hamlet just said? No. no. This is a big question, right? Probably not. Well, ne next. The concernancy, sir. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what's the root of concernancy? Concern. Yeah, yeah. What's the relevance here? Well, you're, you're, okay. Uh, it means is your statement relevant? Do you understand this? Do you understand this? Okay, now you could, let's go back and look. Your lordship speaks most unfollowably of him. He's okay. talking about Hamlet's description of him. Uh -huh. But before that, we're talking about how great Laertes is. Yeah. And. Hamlet has been um, how do you how do you put it? Uh, he's playing with uh, this guy, right? Or Osric, right? Yeah. Mm, yeah. So, when you strictly speaking, when you're talking about a, a topic, when well, the topic right now is uh, Laertes, right? How great Laertes is, mm -hmm. right? And all of a sudden, this guy um, start to talk about uh, how Hamlet described him. Yeah. Which is a different topic, right? So as yeah. Hamlet just went on with it and say. The concernancy. We're talking about whether um, uh, Osric understood Hamlet just now, right? Yeah. And Hamlet pointed that right out. You're talking about something else. Get it? Uh -huh. We're not talking about how great Laertes. You, you're ta talking about whether I'm uh, fallible. In I'm fallible. Uh, speaking of him. Okay. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Next. Why do we wrap the gentleman in our more rawer breath? Okay. Uh, that, uh, you understand this? Ish. Okay. Roar breath means people, they're roar. Roar means what? Like a bass, right? Uh -huh. Low, mm. low, low class people. Hamlet means himself, right? Yeah. The, you know, Laird is so great. I'm just roar breath. You understand that? Uh -huh. Then why do we wrap the gentleman in our more rural breath? Why, when we talk about such a great guy, you get you got me involved in this? I'm just a rural breath. You following this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you following? You actually see this? Yeah. Okay. Next. Osric, sir. He didn't understand. Now we know, right? He probably didn't understand any of that. Mm -hmm. that Hamlet just said at the beginning of this. Next. Horatio, it's not possible. It's not possible to understand in another tongue. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it, 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 Horatio was saying maybe you use another language, he'll understand you. Is it not possible to understand in another tongue and understand this? Maybe you, you know. Um, He's making fun of him. I'm, yeah, facetious. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, next, you, you know what facetious mean? Like, is you 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 you're joking, right? And sometimes mm -hmm. not really appropriate. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Now it's almost like a uh, this Osric is a, a messenger from the king and uh, sending a official message more or less. And now you you're saying maybe another language will help. Okay. Obviously, obviously another language will not help. Obviously, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next. It will do it, sir. Really. Okay. Uh, 
You get this? Yeah. Yeah. What does that mean? It it's gonna help. Yeah, you well yeah, right, exactly. You understand it. it. Yeah. Uh then actually uh Osric really uh, won't understand. You see that, right? Uh huh. Then it's probably all lost already. And uh 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 essentially Horatio took pity on Osric. Okay. He uh-huh. just want to make him feel better now. He had his fun. <laughs> he said, uh, "You do it, sir. Really? Okay. He won't. He won't. Obviously, because after you know so many exchanges, Osric probably forgot all Hamlet has said. When you don't understand somebody's saying, right? Mm-hmm. You can't remember it because it won't register. The logic registers most in your head. So when people tell you something, you want to know the logic behind it. Yeah." Mm-hmm. Then you can understand it. And there are certain people they just, when they really just have to understand exactly something uh, that happened, they pictureize it. It doesn't have to be I- the exact picture. When you say something, right? Um, uh, in, let's say, what imports the nomination of this gentleman? Okay, then you you just say import. Um, you can say import is like shipping from one country to another. Uh-huh. And then the nomination, you can just say import the. Uh, what was the nom? Uh, import a name of this gentleman. Okay. okay. You you ship a name of the gentleman into your country. You understand that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You get that picture, then you remember the sentence. Although that's definitely not what the sentence means. You get it? Yeah. Yeah. That you pictureize it, but that picture uh, pictureization only help you understand exact the order of the word, right? Logic is much better. Yeah. But. The thing is, if you understand the logic, you want to repeat what he said. You're not going to repeat it word by word. You're going to re- you're going to do it in your own words, yeah. Yeah. Which mm-hmm. works in ninety nine point nine percent of the time. Only when you're on some clerical uh, job, let's say you're you're out there interpreting people's language, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then they may come back, and you you may need to uh, actually no that that you you just need the meaning. Uh, let's say you're trying to uh, write it down, write down. Uh, well, that's shorthand. I can I can actually I cannot think of it. Or just want you to remember what he said word by word. Uh huh. Okay. Then you need this kind of picturization. Okay. Um, so it's m- most reliable thing is to understand the logic. And since Osric doesn't understand the logic, there's no way he understands any of that Hamlet just said. And after several exchanges, it's all lost already. Okay. You get it? So there's no mm-hmm. way that you'll do it. Okay. And and that's the reason we know that uh, uh, Horatio just won't take pity on you. <laughs> just say that's okay, okay, never mind, you get it, yeah. And also, um, we know that Osric didn't understand a thing. Now we're firm, right? We understand that now, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, we stop here. <laughs>